All right, let's talk about traveling to Vietnam. I know most people right now, well not most people, I should say, I should say the people who are thinking about traveling to Vietnam, especially Da Nang or any part of Vietnam right now, have to realize that um, due to uh, coronavirus and due to the, uh, 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 um, the shutdowns of most airport, international airports, um, there's a possibility of, uh, of being quarantined when you get here because if you're coming from anywhere from maybe uh, Europe or America, um, there's a possibility of being quarantined. For how long? Um, the only quarantine that we know of, the time is 14 days. Um, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure um, how that's gonna work once uh, Vietnam has decided to open up its airports. But again, that's if they do. Uh, right now, internationally, there will be no op airports um, open uh, internationally, only domestically as far as we know so far here in Vietnam. Um, so if you are traveling, if, if, if you were a backpacker slash teacher or anybody who left and would like to come back to Vietnam, <laughs> well, know that uh, it might have some problems coming back and it's going to be some time before you come back. So for the people that stay like myself and many others that uh, went through the process of staying here, you know, kudos to us because we, we went through the, uh, the waiting period of to see what happens next. And what's happening next is that if you are actually a, uh, a person here who lives here like myself, I do live here, and uh, anyone who decided to stay to wait by the process, like I said, uh, in terms of work, well, there's gonna be plenty of work for teachers. Um, me, myself, I'm kind of like a freelance teacher. I'm not really like a full-fledged, you know, have, you know, I have to actually clock in at all of these particular places. I kind of freelance teach, and when I say freelance teach, I teach at a number, at a few schools. I also teach at a university. I teach at um, two English centers, and I teach privately. But at the same time, it's not something I depend on. Um, but most importantly, for the people that do, um, there will be lots of work. There will be lots of work for uh, for for people that that stayed and who are teachers and would like to teach and so on and so on and so on. Because I've been seeing on on the websites, well, on the on the um, expat websites, you know, knee teachers, knee teachers, knee teachers. Because it's it's but mostly on foot at the current point in time, it's mostly online. So. Be aware of that uh, most of the teaching right now is online because um, they have not opened up schools just yet um, publicly. Only in the private sectors such as English centers and universities, I believe, I believe have opened, and international centers have been opened up. So anything outside of that, like the public schools, they have not opened up as yet. Some, some of the smaller English centers are still closed as well. Um, they probably lost a lot of money and probably don't have any money to reopen. Uh, 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 right now so again it's it just depends right it just depends um, all right so the other problem is dealing with travel issues when you when you decide to travel or live in another country is a travel because I've dealt with some so I'm giving you my experience in terms of uh, what you're gonna have to deal with banking because I've been having some issues with my bank Knowing that I'm, in, I'm, I'm traveling internationally, I'm abroad, I cannot walk into my local Bank of America and take care of my business, right? Because that's the bank I bank with, Bank of America. So, if you're traveling abroad, okay, get in touch with your bank. Let them know that you're gonna be traveling, first and foremost, all right? Because once you do, at least they know, when they see a transaction, let's just say you're from America and you're in Rome, and you make a transaction in Rome, they're not gonna be, you know, they're gonna be curious and shut your card down. It has happened, okay? Um, you get an alert basically on your phone. If you do have the app, which I also suggest that you, you download the app. If you don't have the app, download the, your banking app on your phone. So at least you could stay in contact with your bank and let them know that it was you that made that transaction because they can shut your card down if they don't have a response from you within maybe an hour you know or so and next thing you know you, you can't your card is locked okay went to went through that situation so download the app let your bank know that you're going to be traveling internationally um ask also ask if they are on messenger um because 
Bank of America is actually on Messenger and I was kind of fortunate to, to, and happy that they are because when I went through all of my banking problems, I, would, I jumped on Messenger and sent them copious amounts <laughs> because yes, you do have to send them copious amounts of messages to get some kind of, some kind of in interaction and response. And a lot of times when you're traveling, you can't keep calling internationally because it's gonna cost you, right? So you have to you have to talk through mess the, the apps, right? The, the messengers and them emails and all that good stuff to get some sort of uh, uh, a response so you can take care of your problem. Because if you run out of money while you're traveling, you're dead in the water. You, I mean, you gotta pay your court. Even if you're traveling, you have to pay for where you live. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if it's ten cents or ten dollars. You have to pay for where you live. So you need to stay in contact with your bank. And, and check always keep checking your account and such um, also you know if, if they got credit cards same thing let the credit card company know that you're gonna be traveling uh, 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 um, let them let them know where you are at least put an alert out you know so at least you know not just one operator but two or three operators can see that hey you know yes this person is traveling so therefore they're not gonna shut their cards down your bank card and also your credit card also um, check your expiration date I am now going through the same problem with expiration date because my card has expired and I'm internationally and right now I'm having a hell of a time. Uh, I have some money on me so I'm, I'm not worried about it but I have money in the bank too. So uh, it's kind of hard to have to deal with the fact that um, I, I, I have money available but I can't use it and I, I don't have a credit card. I, don't, I'm not a, I gave up all my credit cards. Um, before I left left America, so all I have is my bank card, and that's it. You know what I mean? I pay three percent for withdrawals, and I pay uh, 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 for credit uses. Uh, credit, I don't think for credit, I don't pay anything for credit. But for in terms of withdrawals, when I do go to the bank, I pay uh, a three percent transaction fee. You know, which is which is not bad. I mean, I rather pay the transaction fee and be safe about my uh, about my money than than have to worry about my money. You know, in in what if someone is getting into my account? You know, um, so in in terms of that, like I said, let your bank know, let your bank know that you're going to be traveling. Let them know because if they don't know, they can lock, they can shut their card down because they they're seeing international transactions.